I guess if I were to explain who I am, I'm a person who has a lot of empathy for people. And that probably was a drawing point why I went into medicine. I gotta be honest, when that child was born, it was like this flash of sunshine. Yeah, I teach at Loyola Marymount, I'm involved with the Clippers, the LA Ballet Company, help at the LA Zoo. I like to do different things. I think it makes you a, a rounder person. And for me, it's been a wonderful way for me to lead my life. He's all about giving back. Nothing's for himself. He's just a really selfless man. His friends, his co-workers, his family, no matter what we ask for, what we need help with, he's always there no matter what. I hate to see people suffer. And if it can be avoided, I want to help somebody. And I always made a vow to myself that once I became a licensed doctor that I would always go in the community and help people. High Lifeline actually provides that opportunity. He's done a lot of things for High Lifeline as far as his connection with the Clippers and getting t-shirts signed by various players. You know, sitting in the hospital bed all day long, you don't get a lot of joy and uh, none of joy and smiling that a, a young person has by receiving a jersey and wearing that um, almost as a badge of courage is so important. Illness doesn't just affect one person, it affects an entire family and High Life Telling does a wonderful job in always encompassing that part. One of my role models was John Wooden. I became his podiatrist. He always taught people to be the best you can be. And if you're the best you can be, that's all you can ask for. He's made a wonderful, wonderful life for himself, for his family, for his children. I'm very proud of him. It's been the greatest gift to have him as our father and to look up to him and have someone like him in our lives that we can emulate and hopefully I'll be lucky enough one day to accomplish as much as he has. I mean, he's just the most caring man who I who I know. He's a role model and he's just a really selfless man. He's my partner, he's my best friend and uh, he's my hero. I think all of us have had sick relatives or friends. So all of us are unfortunately touched with illness. If you have empathy of any type, you want an organization to help support the people who need that. And this organization does that. It gives people hope. And if you don't have hope in life, life's not worth living. And High Lifeline gives families and sick children hope. <laughs>